Shireen and Bob Wass know a little something about disasters. He's a retired firefighter and she's a nurse. In two days, they'll put their skills to work for the Red Cross down south. I've worked with ladders. I can help extricate people. Uh, I have CPR and first aid training. Uh, I'm a former EMT. The babies are crying. The family members are crying. The moms, the dads. Some moms and dads and babies have been separated, I saw, and that really moved me. The Wasses are part of the first wave of new volunteers who found out it's not exactly going to be summer camp down there. This is the worst we've ever seen. Poor transportation, heat, humidity, possible disease. Uh, the only thing that we're not going to run into is cold weather. These people are staying in the shelters. They're sleeping on the ground or they're sleeping on the floor. They're facing the same situation that the uh, shelter population is facing. So we want them to be as prepared as possible. The key is to make sure volunteers don't get overworked and overwhelmed. We're overtired. We could become physically ill. We could, you know, have crying jags ourselves. So we have to take care of ourselves so we can be the gift to take care of them. The Red Cross will be holding training courses like this across the state in the coming weeks, and they need as many people as they can get. If you'd like to volunteer, give them a call at 1-800-842-1122. In Middletown, Suzanne Pajot, ABC6 News.